Item Number SCP-001-J Object Class EOV Special Containment Procedures SCP-001-J is under no circumstances to be allowed access to monetary gifts of any kind. Staff must relinquish all currency on their person before engaging in any interaction with SCP-001-J. The containment of SCP-001-J does not appear at this time to be attainable by the Foundation. However, due to SCP-001-J's apparent apprehension involving creditors, it may be possible to effect containment through such entities. More research is needed in this field. Description SCP-001-J is an omniscient, omnipotent, omnitemporal entity named Michael Caine, who is the primary deity worshipped by a group of religious zealots calling themselves the Church of the Broke God. SCP-001-J wields great and terrible cosmic power while possessing a distinct and crippling lack of adequate financial planning skills. SCP-001-J requires a significant influx of cash money in order to pay, in his own words, the water bill, child support payments, bread, and some of those little hot dogs because protein is a must if you're just barely making ends meet. However, any amount of money given to SCP-001-J by any individual and for any reason will somehow mysteriously disappear despite SCP-001-J's insistence that it was not spent on booze, cigarettes, and porno mags. Discovery SCP-001-J was discovered by O51 on a business trip to New York during an event later described by SCP-001-J as That Time You Totally Contained Me, where O51 stopped SCP-001-J from stealing a bagel by shouting, Hey, don't steal that bagel. Ever since O51 offered to pay for SCP-001-J's bagel and gave him a few bucks for a cab, SCP-001-J has left no fewer than 17,000 voicemails on O51's phone, typically asking for money or, in some cases, talking at length about unrelated events before eventually asking for money. Addendum 001-J.1 Recorded Voicemails the following voicemails were received by O51's office between April 20th, 2017 and May 1st, 2017. Notably, both the Global Occult Coalition and the Serpent's Hand also confirmed that SCP-001-J had called them asking for money during this time, while the Chaos Insurgency reported that SCP-001-J had called them, but only burped into the phone for 15 seconds and hung up. Hello, you've reached the office of O51. Please leave your name and a number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, Adam, it's me, Mike. Mike Kane? You know, that one time we met when you contained me? Yeah, I know I wasn't a super great look, but hey, look at me now, huh? I got a whole congregation together and everything, so that's great. <laughs> While I'm here, I was going to ask you something. See, I'm really trying to put things back on track. Get life moving in a positive direction. I want to get some stuff, you know, to keep up appearances, but I'm a little short on scratch, you know? I know you've probably got your own stuff going on, but if you could spare, like, a short-term loan of, like, $200, that would be super. And you know I'm good for it, absolutely good for it. Anyway, just give me a call back when you get the chance. Thanks again, buddy. Hello. You've reached the office of O51. Please leave your name and a number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Adam, my man, what's happening? Haven't heard back from you yet, but uh, definitely still trying to string together a few pennies, you know, pay off some bills, get that sort of thing taken care of. Really, uh, $200 might be a stretch, right? Because we only met that one time, and I know this seems pretty forward, and I get that, I, I do. So I'm thinking, really, if you could come up with, like, $100, that would really get me settled. One foot in front of the other, you know? Trying to make a change. I know you get me. Thanks again, my man. Hello. You've reached the office of O51. Please leave your name and a number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have you been talking to that GOC son of a bitch? He doesn't know anything about me, Adam. Nothing. I don't even know his name. Look, I, I know I probably sounded drunk the other night, and you know what? Maybe I was. But this whole thing is a process, right? Uh, it's not going to happen all at once, and I, I own that. I definitely own that. But look, I, I know I said that $100 would do it. 
but really I'm just trying to come up with like whatever I can. I'm supposed to make my uh, kids, yeah, my kids supposed to take them to the kid museum. And you can get in there for like 20 bucks. So if I could make that happen, me and you, that would be perfect. 20 bucks, right? That's nothing. Anyway, hit me up, bro. Hello. You've reached the office of 051. Please leave your name and a number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, fine. You know what? I know that you got me blocked or something, and I get that. I don't blame you. So I'm calling from my cousin Yabby's place, and he's a good dude, right? But look, I've got some guys I need to get paid. You know, who I borrowed some money from. And they're being pretty insistent about this whole thing, so at this point, really anything would be perfect. Five bucks, even. What have you got lying around under your desk? You know, anything I can give these guys. So, give me a ring there, homie. That would be great. Hello. You've reached the office of 051. Please leave your name and a number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Adam? Adam, I know you're there. Pick up the phone, Adam. Come on. It's your old pal Mike, right? Remember the good times that we had that time? I'm seriously in a pinch here, my man, and if you've got, like, cans of scrap metal laying around I could take off your hands, that would be fine. Plastic bottles, even. I've got a guy who'll give me 15 cents per pound of dryer lint, Adam, and I know you guys do a lot of laundry. Come on, man, you know I'm good for it. I'm totally good for it. But I'm serious about that dryer lint. Hello? Adam? Hello? Hello?